the idea was born when Sean Conlon and a few of his friends started getting together every weekend to go skateboarding. There's not many great roads that are rideable, and although there are certain roads you can ride on here, uh, unless you're longboarding, there's not much you can really do with a short skateboard where you don't want to tear up you know, anybody else's property. So, Sean, his friends, and a few volunteers took the idea, got it approved with the MWR, and began construction on Soto Cano's first skate park. It's just a ramp right now, but that's good enough for him. The feeling of being able to have a ramp is, is you know, the greatest thing because now it also makes skating a little more enjoyable and I can keep at my passion. Now that the construction is underway, Sean feels like his hard work is going to benefit others for a long time. It makes me feel great uh, to be part of something that's not just now present, but that's going to also live on for years after that I've finished working here at Soto Cano. And I mean, it's only a dream to be able to say, you know, hey, look, I helped build, you know, this the first ramp that Soto Cano's ever had. And I hope that in the future it'll expand to be a lot more. Although there is still some work left to do, the ramp is functional now. So Sean and his friends are already enjoying their hard work. Sean says he plans to spend a whole lot of time at the skate park. Reporting from Sotocano Air Base, Honduras, I'm Army Sergeant Donnie Martin.